Hello friends, welcome to C programming tutorials. In this class, we are going to learn about enumerated types. So, what is enumerated type? The enumerated type is a user defined type. So, based on the standard integer type. Okay. It is mainly used to assign names to integral constants. The names makes a program easy to read and maintain. So, what it means? The enumerated type is a so user defined type. It is based on the standard integer type. So, what it means? So, we see the example. So, before that, we are going to see the syntax. So, declaring an enumerated type. So, for that, we are going to use enum keyword. So, type name. Here, you are going to give the user defined data type name. And here, in flavored brackets, you are going to give identifier list. Okay. So, for example, I am defining enum. And the type name is, for example, week. In this, I store all the day names. So, for example, Monday, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, like this. Now, so what is the enumerated data type? The enumerated type is a user-defined type. So, what is the type here? The week. It's a type name based on the standard integer type. Standard integer type is nothing but this Monday is indicating with 0, Tuesday 1, Wednesday 2, Thursday 3, so Friday 4, Saturday 5, Sunday 6. I hope you all are understand what is enumerated data type. The enumerated data type is a user defined type. So based on the standard integer type. Okay. So it is mainly used to assign names to integral constant. Here I assign the name Monday to integral constant 0, Tuesday to 1 and so on. These names makes a program easy to read and maintain. Okay. So now we see one example. Here I define a data type week. In this enum sub so week, how we can define integer variable int a. Similarly, here I am taking a variable day and I am defining this day variable as a week data type. So now, I can define like this week day. Okay. And day equals to Wednesday. So for this a variable, you are going to give the numbers from 3 to 7, 6, 8 minus 3 to 7, 6, 8 to 3 to 7, 6, 7 is the range. Similarly, for this day variable, you are going to give the, you are going to assign the values. Those values are only Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday only. Okay. So now day equals to Wednesday. So what is the Wednesday? 2. So 2 is stored in this day. Okay. So printf percentage D day. Now it prints 2 as a output. Okay. Instead of this, if you give any A, B, C. A, B, C, not in this identifier list. So, it returns error. Okay. So, for example, here, we can change these constants also. Integer constants also. Instead of 2, I assign like this. Wednesday equals to 5. So, W, N equals to 5. Now, the first one, integer is 0. Second one is 1. And for third one, it is 5. Next one, 6, 7, 8, 9 and you can give like this also so monday equals to 100 tuesday equals to 1 wednesday equals to 2 so thursday equals to 120 friday equals to 15 saturday equals to 5 and sunday equals to 8 so now so these are the integers assigned to a name so this is the integer assigned to a name so now if i print here day equals to m o n monday if i print this day it prints 100 as an output by default the constant integers are 0 1 2 3 and so on but you change these values 
okay i hope you all are understand enumerated type how to define the enumerated data type and how to use these enumerated data types in your program so now we see the execution of enumerated types how to define the enumerated type and how to use enumerated data types in your program so this is the program here i define a data type week with these values with these data values now so here i am going to take day variable as a week type so day equals to wd so that means wednesday now it prints two as output we execute this program gcc program 45.c so dot slash a dot out display two why so this is the monday zero tuesday one wednesday two if i change like this equals to five save the program we execute the same program gcc program 45 dot c dot slash a dot out instead of two it displays five why here we change the integer value and we try to print next value save now it prints six as output six is the output okay so here I, for monday i am giving 200 save this program here i queue save compile execute so 200 is output okay so in this way you are going to use enumerated data types